you kids are in for a real treat. We are in a bog. Look at this place. It's pretty tough for things to grow in a bog. So what am I doing here? This, the purple pitcher plant. The cool thing about this plant is that while it uses the sun to make food, it has adaptations to get more nutrients and help it grow. Look at the leaves. They lure bugs into the trap with tasty nectar. Bugs see these veins and think it will lead them to more nectar. So they go inside and into a trap. You see, this plant is carnivorous, which means it eats meat. And in this case, it means bug meat. Now look, inside are little hairs. They point downward so when the bugs fall in, they can't climb out. Oh, there's a fly. Wait, Mr. Fly, watch out. Oh, can't say I didn't warn him, but it's not all bad. Now that fly is turning into bug soup. This provides nutrients to the plant, kind of like kids taking their vitamins, which you did take today, right? You may have noticed this flower all the way up here. This is my favorite part. As a bumblebee, I am what you call a pollinator. I take this plant's pollen to another plant to make sure there is a new generation of purple pitcher plants. And I get a yummy snack, the nectar inside. So you see kids, in tough places to live like this bog, the pitcher plant has adaptations to survive. It lures bugs into its trap and turns them into nutrients to help it grow. And pollinators like me help spread the plant's pollen while getting a snack in return. Well, it's time for me to buzz back home. So long, kids, and remember to take your vitamins.